See what's available now on The Sphere. Bat Boom Bap. Band of the Hawks been around for about you know ten years now. Uh, we've been growing in numbers, and uh, we're just trying to make sure we uh, we rep uh, the South as well as the East Coast, the West Coast, everything hip hop. You know what I mean? Um, it's all love at the end of the day. We do everything. You know, EDM, hip hop, R and B, soul, funk. I'm doing jazz by myself now. You know, I'm trying to do my thing. So you know, mm-hmm. and I appreciate just being here. So it's all love. You know? Yeah, man. That, shit, that's we call that versatility, my G. Word. That's what it sounds. That's what I'm hearing when you <laughs> when you dropping these different genres that obviously uh, people of color have influenced, yes. if not created, from the from the beginning from of the music. Beginning. <laughs> you yeah. know, it makes sense that we continue to push forward in those same genres. We yes. continue to control the narrative, control the music and give people what they need and desire it, it just makes Word. good sense that's what it is man i mean at the end of the day hip-hop has always been um a vessel for you to be introduced to the music that we brought on this earth so i didn't know anything about jazz until try call quest man and, and fuji's you know what i mean mm. i didn't know about funk and stuff like that until you had the west coast scene in parliament now i'm a big parliament funkadelic fan but i didn't know what that was coming from in the 90s when i was listening to it so yeah like you said we made all these joints and hip-hop kind of brings us back to that essence and as long as you keep the true essence of hip-hop on you're always going to be exposed to everything else we're always going to be influencing the whole world you know what i mean but 